Hey, what is up, everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here today. This is the million dollar question that is going on around WWE as of right now, as we're getting ready for the WWE's Royal Rumble. Is is Ronda Rousey going to be returning to the WWE? Is she going to be a part of the Royal Rumble? Probably the best way to bring her back from almost her year long break. After wrestling um, at WrestleMania 35, where she lost uh, her WWE Women's Championship in the three-way where Becky Lynch won it. Of course, everybody has seen the episode of Total Divas where, you know, she had the match. She came back. She sort of celebrated how good her match was. She realized that she broke her hand. She went in. She got um, x-rays, found out that it was bad. I think she went into WrestleMania sort of knowing that she was going to take a break um, from WWE and on Total Divas in her interview, she basically said that she was walking away from WWE. She knows that in the world of wrestling, never, never really means never. And uh, you never know what opportunity is going to knock on the door. We do know that she did sign uh, a contract with WWE for three years. As of right now, you know, she is a member of the Total Divas uh, crew. We do know that from following the Bellas, um, that they could still use her on Total Divas, sort of living her life on the ranch, um, and sort of keep her on the Total Divas franchise if E wants to continue on with the show. But uh, it kind of really doesn't make sense that WWE would want to keep her around, keep her under contract, and her not wrestle. <laughs> I know that you can sell a lot of figures, you can sell t-shirts, and you can keep using that brand, and as WWE keeps on bringing in more and more celebrities, whether if it's Cain Velasquez, or whether if it's uh, Tyson Fury, um, you sign them to a little bit of a deal where you can continue to sell those things, and their hardcore fans will still continue to come in and, and buy those things, um, but... It only makes sense that, you know, she's under contract. You want to take advantage of that contract. And um, I, I do think that, um, you know, one of the people that could be making a debut on the main roster anytime now would be Shayna Baszler. Um, she's been wrestling in NXT for an extended period of time. She's one of the best women that they have down there. You know, she's been NXT Women's Champion. She's lost the championship. It only makes sense, you know, as long as NXT has been around, you always think, somebody loses their title, they're going to get called up to the main roster. And if they don't get called up within a continuous amount of time, you really see that Vince McMahon has no plans to, to use them <laughs> at all. Uh, even, you know, have them just be one of the, the lower ranked people on there. Maybe Triple H likes them, but Vince really has no plans for them at all because sometimes people get called up too soon. And then once they get called up, Vince doesn't know what to do with them. He just wanted them. It was like a new toy. They got, he got it. And then he's like, ah, never mind. It is what it is. But um, I could see her coming in, winning this Rumble, um, going on and having a match at, at WrestleMania. Um, you know, the only thing about Ronda is that once she's in the match, do you hide her in the fact of trying to make it a three-way again? Do you just have a simple one-on-one -on -one where it's Ronda versus Becky? I think that's a match that people have been waiting a year um, to see. You know, we thought we were going to get it at Survivor Series. And because, you know, Becky broke her nose, it kind of was a blessing and a curse that uh, the match didn't happen at Survivor Series, but it was supposed to happen. And then we didn't get it. Um, we ended up getting her and Charlotte uh, instead and uh, that turned into the three-way at WrestleMania, which then turned into um, the main event of WrestleMania, which I think for a, a long time, almost a year, we thought that it was only going to be Charlotte um, versus uh, um, Charlotte versus Ronda, and Becky ended up getting introduced to it. And I think that if they would have had the match at Survivor Series, Ronda just simply would have beat her, and Becky Lynch wouldn't have been the you know, overnight sensation um, that she became, which built up to the whole the man deal, which is, you know, a year later, she's the champion. And, you know, it, it doesn't really look like there's anybody on the roster uh, that could take that away from her. 
So I don't think this is something to play down. I think that it would be cool if you know someday Ronda did come back. We've been wanting to see this four horsewoman versus four horsewoman UFC versus WWE NXT feud with Charlotte, Becky, um, Bailey, and Sasha Banks. You know they could band together uh, for one night. You know it seems like they're always either baby faces or heels and never on the same side. You know they came close that one. Survivor Series, where they did that backstage promo against each other, but we've never actually got them in the ring. So this could be leading to that somewhere down the road, and I think that really would be fun. So we're all looking. 2020 Royal Rumble. Maybe that could be Ronda Rousey's return.